So what is the F distribution? So here is a theorem. Let W and Y be independent chi-squared random variables. So W is chi-squared random variable with U degree of freedom. And Y is also a chi-squared random variable with V degree of freedom. Then the ratio F uh, W over U. So that means this chi-squared random variable divided by his, uh, its own degree of freedom. And then the Y divided by its own degree of freedom in the denominator. So this will be the F distribution with U, V degree of freedom. So U and the V are degree of freedoms in the numerator and the denominators respectively. So F distribution is also a family of distributions. If U and the V are different, so for example, one and eight, you got a, a distribution. Eight, 26, you got another distribution. So if you change the degree of freedom in the numerator or denominator, you will also change the distribution, F distribution. But one thing, F values are always greater than or equal to zero. Why? Because chi-square random variable, they are always sum of the squares. So if you sum of the square degree of freedom is also positive. So the ratio is always positive, okay? Greater than or equal to zero. So definition, we got two random samples. And the sample variance S1 square, sample size M1 from a normal population, sig uh, sigma one square. The second one is sigma uh, S2 square, N2 and sigma two square. And uh, we know that M1 minus one S1 square divided by sigma one square is approximately chi-square distributed with M1 minus one degree of freedom. And this is a definition we talk about this when we talk about the sampling distribution uh, of S square, okay? Similarly, we got this, uh, this term is chi-squarely distributed with N2 minus one degree of freedom. So because of the definition of the F distribution, then if we use this chi-square random variable divided by M1 minus one, and the second, you see this one, divided by its own degree of freedom N2 minus one, then what we got is S1 square over sigma one square and S2 square over sigma two square. So this is F distributed with M1 minus one and N2 minus one degree of freedom. So this is F distribution. And the numer uh, numerator degree of freedom is M1 minus one. Denominator degree of freedom is N2 minus one. So this gives us a way to use the F distribution and compare the ratio of two variances, two sample variances, which one is bigger. So later in the uh, in the two sample test problems, when we want to compare the sample variance, we are going to use this F distribution later. Now there's a theorem and, uh, of F distribution. So if we have F alpha, alpha is the area, V1 and V2. And then this will be, if this is alpha, this right tailed will be one minus alpha V1 and V2. So that's, that is the reason why at this location is one minus alpha V1, V2. At this location is alpha V1, V2. So if F 0 0.05, 10, 6, so numerator degree of freedom is 10, denominator degree of freedom is 6, it's 4.06, then what is the uh, 0 0.95, 10, 6 over here? So based on the theorem, F1 minus alpha V1, V2 equals to one over F alpha V2, V1. You see the degree of freedom actually switch. Why? Because, because you are taking a ratio and uh, if you flip, it will become V1, V2. Because you put everything, the F in the denominator, so you have to switch this uh, degree of freedom. So F point nine. 5, 10, 6 is actually equals to 1 over f.05, 6, 10. Okay, so it's not, it's not directly the ratio of f.05, 10, 6, but instead you should use 0.05, 6, 10. So if we check the table, 6, 10, f.05, 6, 10 is 3.22, 3.22. So this 9, 9, 5, 0.95, 10, 6 is 1 over 3. 2, 2. 
So instead of f.95610 equals to 1 over f.05106, so 610 equals to 1 over 106. So if we find a 106, uh, 106, so this is 10 and 6. So this is a point uh, 4.06, so 1 over 4.06. We can also use Excel, but again, Excel actually gives us a left tail. The, the book gives us the right tail values. So the critical values of F distribution, this is right tail. So the area here, alpha equals to 0.05, but the left tail is actually 95%. Okay. Again, this area is 5%, 0.05. So this is right tailed and the left tailed will be 95%. Okay. So if we want to find out 4.06106, okay. So 4.06106, this is cumulative is true. Okay. Now this will be 95%, but over here it's actually 106 4.06, it's actually 5%. So that's a difference between the right tail is 5%, but the left tail is 95%. So at the location 4.06. So area under the curve is always less than one. So if we have 5% here, so this is 4.06, right tail and left tail is 95%. We can also use uh, F inverse. F inverse, you give the probability and degree of freedom, it will that means it gives the probability and you want to find the location. That is the F inverse. So you give the probability, it gives the degree of freedom, numerator degree of freedom, and a denominator degree of freedom. And then it will give you the location because this Excel function is left tail. So you always use this, uh, this area, left tail area. But if you want to do the book, the book actually give you the right tail. So there are two functions, F distribution, you give the location, it will find the probability for you. And F inverse, you give the probability, it will find the location for you. So that's the difference between these two functions.